as you always hear people saying, the children are our future. Well, if we don't do something about it, we aren't even going to be the future because we'll, that, we'll all probably be dead by like 2050. We would need three planets. Let me just uh, start by thanking the Children's Parliament members from South Ayrshire, Edinburgh, Fife and the Western Isles who asked me to participate uh, in this reception and who have entertained me both with their presentations and more fundamentally with their questions. We were invited to take part in the Festival of Politics and present the findings of a weekend residential where we produced a mule about our feelings on the climate change bill. Well, what it's about, it's split in two sections and in the top section it's an eco-earth which has like loads of people um, with their compost bins and insulating their lofts and cycling everywhere and then the polar bears are all coming back up in their numbers and then on the disaster earth it shows you where it's like filled with all these bad hurricanes and floods and storms and loads of tornadoes. We've got loads of kids that are holding up the bill and we're pointing it out and then we've got a tartan windmill at the start blowing loads of different ideas and then everything on the bill is to be eco and you can see the little messages all over it. The youngest of us was nine and the oldest 14. We are not experts but we think we need to be heard on such an important topic. I think Scotland is beautiful, but if um, climate change keeps on happening, then it's going to be destroyed and it won't be as beautiful as it is, and the landscape will be ruined forever. If the water rises, I think my house will probably flood, and we'll probably have to find somewhere else to stay, but the whole world's going to be like that, so we're all just going to have to try and live with it, and eventually we'll probably just die. If it did happen, I think there's, well, we don't have a police station or things to help us, we'd have to go somewhere like Edinburgh or Kirkcaldy, so uh, we'd all be travelling away, we'll migrate in from our, our houses to go somewhere where there is help. One thing that's worrying is the hotter it gets here, the more likely we are to get in some hotter countries there are some like bugs like mosquitoes that, have, that can bring really bad diseases which might come over here because it's hot enough here as well. So they'll come over here and then give us malaria and all the other diseases that come. People you know, like us are just being stupid and idiotic and not thinking and just wasting and the CO2 emissions are going up and before you know it, boom, kaboom, we're gone. Add global warming to Barra and our beautiful beaches would be missing, the maca would become scarce and our legendary summer days would disappear and most of the houses of the people I know will be put under water. Causeways will collapse or be swamped, so there'll be, have to be ferries again, and the cars will have to be loaded onto the ferries and then shipped across to near the and then they'll have to drive out, so it's just more and more CO2. It's like just a big time bomb. If um, we keep on going at the rate that we're going, and instead of being changes to island life, there might not be island life at all, which would be stupid. One of the things that would have to change is um, the way we, our values in life, what we, what we like, what we need and what we want, to, to know the difference between that. So like instead of wanting 10 cars when you're older, to be more caring about the environment, to see, uh, to see life in new eyes in a more, more caring and less selfish way. Some people use shopping as just like a hobby, like when they're bored they just go out and shop. That's over-consuming stuff, it's buying stuff you don't even want or need. I also think that um, people who have like big cars, they're using lots of carbon dioxide that's coming out the back of their cars. They should like, to pay more tax for their cars and that should be given into planting trees, people who like plant more trees and forests. You should probably tax companies, because I mean companies are one of the big uh, polluters um, and so I think it's more important to tax the companies rather than individual people. I think we have to stop valuing cars on how f and how fast they can go because we, we invented them as, some as a way of trans getting around and now people just 
value them for how fast they can go, which is totally wrong. It's just complete opposite of what they were meant to be. I think we should start making more allotments than that for people to like have an allotment to use as um, to grow their own vegetables and it would make them a bit cheaper so you wouldn't have to pay like loads of money to get an allotment so everybody could have one. You see flats, I would try and make like all flats of like a wee bit to the cell at the bottom of them and instead of them having like not be able to grow them because they're in a flat and they have no garden, instead of putting like a big bit of grass, I think they would be better putting like wee allotments for them. Probably the one thing I've got to do is um, try and help and encourage everyone else I know to do a bit more to help the environment and also for me my, myself to recycle more maybe even to instead of sitting on the computer or watching television go outside and play. I came up with the idea for the eco ribbons to help raise awareness for climate change. People can buy the eco ribbons and the money that raised can be given to schools and help children learn about climate change. To sort of get to the stage when we can have our eco city and we can sit back in a nice comfy armchair knowing that we're safe and we can have a nice good sleep at night, we have to work together. We have to get, because um, we can't do it on our own. You see the size of what Scotland is. They might be, you know, ready to do it, but we can't do it on our own because it might end up that the rest of the plant's doomsday and Scotland's just the, this little green area. If we are the only things, then it's just not going to make much of a difference if we're the only thing. The main, I think the main things are these great big countries like America, Russia, China, all these great big countries really need to make sure that they do the good stuff and then the little ones work as hard as they can but not too much pressure. <laughs>
and then you'd go outside and you'd have to you'd go down maybe a flight of stairs because that's quite nice and um, into your garden and then through the fence and then there'd be a train waiting for you, an eco train waiting for you to take you to school and then you'd get in the train and it'd be nice and comfy and you'd have a little chat with your friends and then you'd pass in the countryside and see all the wonderful things and then that would take about 10 minutes and then you'd get to school and it'd be nice, a nice start to your day. Well uh, in the eco world there was like um, technology to be working on like hydrogen fuel cell cards and buses and things as well but like uh, solar panels just instead of using the cars different kinds of fuel instead of using like petrol and diesel. Painting wool roofs white because this reflects sunlight back if you are familiar with the albedo effect. It would increase solar radiation back into space although it would be quite an eyesore from some pilots if one flew over Glasgow and was blinded by all the white roofs. For you to do something to help me and make sure I have a future is to maybe do things like recycle more, maybe car share, do things that maybe that would help the environment and help me have a future. Yeah, I think that all these people watching should be trying to grow, their, grow your own food instead of just going to the supermarket and buying it for double the price. I think that's you should buy it. Grow it yourself and you get it half the price. Well, I know that like if you've got big important jobs, you've got to take your car or take a taxi or a train or something. You'll have to like maybe stop doing that and take the bus instead. My final message to all the adults is. I'm scared, everybody, all the children are quite scared, you could see it and I don't really want the world when I grow up, I don't want it to be horrible, I want it to be nice. So if you can, just please do your bit because it's not nice knowing that when you're going to grow up, the world won't be a nice place. So, you know, it's everyone's world, not just yours, do your bit. If everyone lived like Scotland, we would need three planets. If you would stop using so much stuff, we'd only need two planets. And if we completely cut down as much as we can, we'll only need one planet.